So what did you think? Are you for sale? What does it mean when we deficit spend? What collateral do you put forth? When they told you the house, in this case in Sharon, like myself, was going to be worth more in the future, nobody ever loses any money on real estate. There's only so much land and so much property. But they never tell you, even nowadays, you know, this jobless recovery. Where are the jobs being created that pay the salaries? The salaries that are required so that you can have an income to pay the note. And I know you're busy watching your sporting events, and you're busy being the soccer mom, and you're busy what doing whatever it is that your busy life's doing, but at what point will you defend your children or defend your grandchildren? What excuse are you going to use? Why don't you go to the mirror now, shut the TV off, go to the mirror and practice your excuses. What will you say to your grandchildren when they say, how did you let a fantastic republic get taken away by a bunch of globalist banksters? Something for you to practice. As far as homework tonight, you know, I always try to give you, you know, at least the considerations of homework, and that is, well, for tonight's homework, um, why don't you look up um, things like the Bilderberg Group or the Council on Foreign Relations? That's a, that'd be a good one for this week. Why don't you find out about the CFR, started by David Rockefeller, or should I ask, was it started by David Rockefeller? Hmm. Now that Citibank's gone, uh, what, they went bust after how many bailouts? How much of your grandchildren's money was taken? How much servitude must your grandchildren do for these bailouts like AIG, which netted Goldman Sachs, what, instant $13 billion? Now Goldman Sachs has bonuses and stuff exceeding their profits. Oh, excuse me. They've got bonuses they're handing out in excess of $21 billion. What value did Goldman Sachs add to this economy? This whole idea of giving your great-grandchildren's money to a group of globalist banksters who consolidate and take the other guys out, okay, like Lehman Brothers and Merrill Lynch. Do you remember these days? And they're doing it with your money while they're using your military as muscle around the globe. We'll get into that in other shows. Did they lie to you about 9-11? Did they tell you the truth? Did they lie to you about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? Or did they tell you the truth? Did they lie to you every night? Or did they tell you the truth? Are you sick of the programming yet? Do you care about your grandchildren? Maybe if you take the flu shot, you probably won't have any. Why? They'll sterilize you. So anyway, here's some quick news. We'll, we'll wrap the show. Yeah, Goldman uh, gives out $21 billion in bonuses. you got to love this, you know. This is out of Bloomberg, you know. Washington Main Street politicians, voters rallied, uh, railing against Wall Street's multi-million dollar paychecks. You know, in the financial world, most executives expect their bonuses to match or exceed last year's, with one in ten predicting the best payout ever. So that's Bloomberg telling you that, yeah, you remember all those people you bailed out? The money went to foreigners, the money went to globalist bankers, who, by the way, are putting poisons in your food and control your boob tube. You know, they do call it programming, don't they? All right, so how about Detroit? Yeah, show them some things. Here's a little thing on Detroit, okay, you know. Remember the free trade, remember the banksters, remember you used to manufacture things. But yeah, they took your tax money in 82 and they gave it to China, huh, so they could build factories. Well, I hope you're enjoying that now, all you accountants. How many accountants do you need if all the manufacturing's offshore? Anyway, after five hours of calling out the drumbeat of no bid for properties listed in the auction book as thick as a city phone book directory, yeah, show them the picture anyway. You probably wouldn't believe me anyway, you know. Once again, this is from Routers. But, you know, finally the guy says, yeah, we get 300 more pages to go. That's rather interesting. So, with the thought being this, this is the thought for this night's, you know, for tonight's episode. And that is, will you think for yourself? Do you remember when we as a nation and we as a people were trained to think for ourselves? Not to listen to talking he head experts, an expert here, an expert there, and they're all young, they're all like 30. How expert can they be? But we listen to all these experts. Well, we've got to give the banks money or else the economy will collapse. This is America. In America, okay, when you don't have a good business, you're supposed to collapse and fail. That opens up what? The demo that opens up the market for other people who are productive, who are creative, who have not only new ideas, okay, but, you know, viable businesses. This too big to fail thing. You've been programmed. Will you think for yourself finally? 
You know, this isn't capitalism. They tell you there's a problem with capitalism? Not when the SEC guy run into a case from Goldman Sachs. Not when the Federal Trade Commission guys from Goldman Sachs. Not when your Treasury Secretary's from Goldman Sachs. You know, or the New York Fed, that private banking cartel, the Federal Reserve. So they'll probably not like me for saying it, but I'm going to ask you, at the end of the show, will you think for yourself? Thanks for watching. Talking heads spitting lies through their smiles. Can it be that we're in this much denial? Lipstick blow on these classy brunettes. Why would we doubt them when they look so absolutely fantastic on our TV set? Just me.